Okay, yet another War Thunder video. Uh, again, this is on my laptop, and you're probably thinking, we only done one recently, why are you doing another? Answer is, if you look here at GPUZ, I have updated the NVIDIA driver to the latest one, 528.02, because I was recommended to do so when I was going to play Fortnite. And when I loaded up War Thunder again, it set my graphics at high. Um, I've put the V-Sync back to adaptive because it was coming up like 100 frames a second. And obviously it's using the graphics card and the CPU more than it needs to when the screen will only do 60. But it plays 60 FPS, certainly when I'm not recording, really well. Um, on high graphics settings still on 720p because it's only a 15.6 inch screen hopefully it will still play fairly well um while i'm recording on obs as well and that would also explain why on the octoplex the performance on it, on it was pretty much as good as on my 8700k because that had the latest driver um on that gtx 1070 so I'm going to have to update the driver when I uh, next look at the look at doing anything with my um, 8700K. It obviously makes a hell of a difference. It's just so yeah. If you're running, not running the latest NVIDIA driver on your computer. Definitely, definitely worth getting this one. I suppose there's not a lot on the screen at the minute to challenge anything, but I mean I think on that other video I did as well I turned one or two of the settings down so it was slightly lower than medium. This is full fat high settings probably going to get killed here we'll see what we can do he's looking at me hit on him do a lot can i re how quick can he reload dangerous because he'll be looking for me to pop my nose around that corner Ah, uh, he got me. Uh, killed one of my people. Not going to let me go now, is he? Right. Uh, this is obviously not one of my better games, by the look of it. I am playing a bit of a higher tier battle usually when I'm demonstrating the machine. I do tend to play at the lower BRs, but <clears throat> as I've already done this laptop, I just thought, oh, just a quick battle. Don't really matter if I get killed, just so you can see how it's going. Temps might be fractionally lower on this laptop than normal because I am I have got it sat on one of them laptop trays with the fans in. I ain't really guessing it does make a bit of difference. CPU does look like it is getting a little bit more of a hammering than it did when I was playing without recording. Even so, it's still all right. Possibly using a little bit less system memory as well than it did before. I'm going to put this in perspective. My 8700K up until November last year, I was using an R9 390. And I was only running high settings with that. And that's an eight gigabyte graphics card as well. 
now I'm on high settings and it's using what two point well two one nine one megabytes. So whatever that drive has done, it certainly seems to have made it so it uses a lot less system resource. There's not been any more game updates. Dangerous to try and get that chi re. It's just fired a shot. From um, so I'm playing against probably decent players now, so I can't can't just go charging in everywhere willy nilly, or I'm going to get killed straight away. This is probably not good coming here, to be honest. Little bit of a frame drop there, I saw, but nothing too drastic. Let's just see it on there. Dice one. Oh, I got my barrel. Let's see if I can rip. Artillery on me. Right. Actually, that way. Oh, what's blocking the way here? Go that way, so have to face this OS one and I the support coming right got him just needed that other one to provide the distraction well I did my bit See if we can cap cap this zone off now. Ah, oh, come on, what are you doing? Yeah, we're getting a few frame drops I can see. It's going into the fifties, but well, I've gone forty there, but honestly, if you're not recording at the time it will hold sixty FPS pretty much all the time. Yeah, I mean, if you if you're streaming, you're probably still gonna only want medium settings. If you're just playing it on your own, you're not recording or doing anything like that with this laptop, that'll be fine on me. That'll be fine on high settings for sure. This is dangerous if he sees me. Uh, I don't know why that didn't get him. Should have done really. Try a high explosive if I can get another shot on him. Oh. Ah. <sighs> Oh, I'm going to get killed now. Planes are going to bomb me or someone's going to come around that corner. I'm just going to get shot. I don't really know why this tank destroyer has so, got such a high battle rating. Because you kind of got all the disadvantages of the ISs with the slow reload and everything. 
and none of the advantages. It's not really got any better armor. It's not, um, you haven't even got a turret. Holding the ground, let's see if I can. So I'm not going to kill anything, I don't think, with this shell. I was put it in for that flak. All right, I'll load up a shell now. Do well to survive this one. Well, I might do. We'll load it up. Ah, oh, there's that. Oh. Got him. Right, that's the flak coming on the map. Someone coming around the side. Ah. Oh. Got left. Only got an yeah left. I think we're gonna win it anyway. Won't matter. Yep. Oh, there you have it. That's War Thunder, the latest NVIDIA five two eight driver update high settings on a 500 pound laptop with an i5 quad core and a gtx 1650 like so i know the frames did drop off a little bit there but that is only because i'm recording on obs generally if you're not recording that will hold the 60 frames a second with no problems and if you don't bother putting v-sync on it will literally it'll say 100 a lot of the time Anyway, I hope you uh, enjoyed the video or got some useful information out of it. Thank you.